Amid the harsh Taliban offense, the territory controlled by Afghan government shrank further on Sunday as Taliban took the provincial capital of Maidan Wardak, just west of Kabul. Earlier today, the key eastern city of Jalalabad fell without a fight. The fall of the last major city takes the insurgents closer to capturing the capital Kabul. The Taliban has also secured the roads connecting Afghanistan to Pakistan. In less than eight weeks, the hardliners have swept through the country, taking all the major cities including mazar sharif Logar Province, Kandhar, Herat, amongst others. The takeover of the cities in the last 24 hours has been virtually unopposed. As Taliban fighters entered mazar sharif on Saturday, government security forces escaped to neighbouring Uzbekistan. Meanwhile, thousands of civilians have streamed into Kabul, fleeing from Taliban-controlled areas. Thousands of people have been displaced and are staying homeless in the capital. Overcrowded tents and open areas with a lack of food and other amenities have become a common sight in the capital. In another development, the first American troops arrived in Kabul on Saturday to protect the capital and keep control of the airport. President Joe Biden authorized the deployment of 5,000 troops to help evacuate citizens and ensure an orderly and safe dodge round of U.S. military personnel. Amid the rapid advancements of Taliban, Pakistan has closed its Torkum border crossing with Afghanistan as the Afghan side of the border is now under Taliban control, Pakistan's interior ministry said on Sunday. The United Nations says nearly 2,400 Afghan civilians were killed and wounded in May and June in escalating violence, the highest number of those months since records started in 2009. The United States vowed to continue to support Afghan troops in the coming weeks with intensified airstrikes to help them counter Taliban attack. Taliban insurgents control about half of the country's district, according to a senior U.S. general underlining the scale and speed of their advances. Meanwhile, Taliban has said that they could present a written peace proposal to Afghan government as soon as August. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.